that uh, this is the most relaxed I've been uh, in the course of many inaugurations I've watched because I'm not responsible for it. But I can tell you that when I was in the government, I was I had white knuckles because yeah. of the nature of the threats. But it's so much more difficult today because of what we have seen, not just over the last two weeks, but that certainly has riveted our attention. But because of this growth in polarization in the United States and domestic violence and white supremacist groups. So I know looking forward that the members of the, the Biden team who have been nominated or have been appointed are now moving in laser like fashion to try to uncover as much as they can about what looks very similar to insurgency movements that we've seen overseas, mm -hmm. where they germinate in different parts of a country and they gain strength and it brings together an unholy alliance frequently of religious, ex religious extremists, authoritarians, fascists, bigots, uh, racists, nativists, uh, even libertarians. And unfortunately, I think there has been this momentum that has been generated as a result of, unfortunately, the demagogic rhetoric of people that just departed government, but also those who continue in the halls of Congress. And so I really do uh, think that the law enforcement, homeland security, intelligence, and even the defense officials are doing everything possible to root out what seems to be a very, very serious and insidious threat to our democracy and our republic. I want to read you um, a little bit of